today I'm doing something that looks pretty simple. Um, so we're going to be making carrot and butter bean burgers. So hopefully they're going to taste great. Um, these are vegan and they're not gluten free because we're using breadcrumbs. But I'm sure that you can switch them for gluten free breadcrumbs and, and then they will be gluten free. So let's have a look and see what we do. Okay, so we need 100 grams of fresh breadcrumbs. Now, I've blitzed that up in the uh, Bamex food processor. Um, so you're going to need to do this in a food processor, but this one's pretty small. So I'm going to do it in two batches. So I'm going to take half of this out. Okay, and then we are going to add one tin of butter beans, which have been drained and rinsed. And then we need a 300 gram tin of baby carrots or 200 grams of carrots which have been cooked so I decided to cook these so I've got 200 grams there and then we need two cloves of garlic which have been crushed And we need 10 grams of coriander, which has been roughly chopped. So I'm going to use another one of my Bamex gadgets in the grinder. It's really good for chopping herbs. So we'll just put some of them in there. And we give it a little bit of a blip. And then we have chopped coriander. So that's going to go in as well. Okay, so now we are going to pulse this in the food processor until it is chopped into small pieces but not gone into a paste. Okay, so I think that's pretty good. I did forget. Do need to add a bit of salt to it as well. Right, okay. So I'm going to put this into a bowl and I'm going to do the other half and then we will make them into burgers. Okay, so I have mixed both batches together and this is what we've got. So this we are going to make into four pâtés, so they're going to be quite large. So I have decided to use my burger press. So it's just one of them that you push down, so I thought why not. So we get a quarter of the mixture into the burger press. Um, you can do this by hand as well. And we gently push it down. There 
there we go and then we get this out onto a plate there we go all right so i'm going to do that for all four okay and there are all four patties so next thing we do before we cook them so we can cook these in the oven um, but i'm going to do them in the air fryer so um, you need to get two teaspoons of vegetable oil and brush each side of the patty i've got an easier way i've got some spray oil so i think i'll just just spray a couple on each side Go turn it over. And spray again. Okay, let's get these in the air fryer. Okay, so I've preheated the air fryer at 180 degrees and mine is fairly small so I think I'll only fit two in. So there's one. And two. Yeah, they just fit. Right, so we are going to cook these at 180 degrees for seven minutes, turn them over and cook them for another seven minutes. Okay, let's see if I can flip these then. Okay, if you're going to be cooking this in the oven, you want it to be 190 degrees and you're going to cook them for 20 minutes, then flip them and cook them for another 10 minutes. Okay, so these are going in for another seven and they should be cooked. Okay, there we go. So they should be cooked now. So I thought they would have gone a bit brown, but they haven't. But anyway, let's give them a go. Okay, so I have got a bruschetta bun, um, I've got a little bit of mayo, so it's not vegan anymore, and uh, some lettuce. So I'm going to put the burger in there, and I love my cheese, so let's have a couple of bits of cheddar there as well. Put the lid on, and we're ready. Okay, let's give this a go then. Mm. Mm. That's really nice. It's it's got a mild flavour. There's nothing really overpowering or strong in it but yeah it's actually really nice yeah definitely the cheese in it definitely works well so yeah there's another burger for you so that's it from me keep experimenting have fun and i'll see you next time